Around 60 million light years away from Earth, in the Virgo constellation, lies two distinct galaxies, NGC 4567 and NGC 4568. Many, many years ago, possibly billions, these two galaxies were separate, but at some point they got a little too close to each other and they were set to collide. Today, that collision looks like this, earning the nickname the Butterfly Galaxies, with their extended tidal tails composed of dust, gas, and stars that have all been pulled apart by the gravitational forces of this collision. And in around 500 million years, these two galaxies are going to merge into one, probably for the rest of time. So we live in the Milky Way galaxy, a spiraling structure consisting of hundreds of billions of stars and hundreds of billions of planets. Some planets are much like ours, which begs the question, is there alien life out there? But that's a video for another day. At the center of our Milky Way galaxy lies a supermassive black hole. Sagittarius A-star. It is 4.6 million times the mass of our sun. We and everything else in our galaxy is orbiting this supermassive black hole right now. Its gravity is so powerful that it's able to hold the entire galaxy together. Similarly, around 2.5 million light years away from our galaxy lies another much, much bigger galaxy, the Andromeda galaxy with its own set of stars and planets, as many as one trillion of each. The supermassive black hole in its core, M31 star, is much more massive than our own. While Sagittarius A star is only 4.6 million times the mass of our sun, M31 star is 140 million times the mass of our sun, making it 35 times more massive than Sagittarius A star. The Andromeda galaxy in our Milky Way much like the butterfly galaxies, are now on a collision course, slow but relentless. Currently, the Andromeda galaxy is hurtling toward us at a whopping 68 miles per second, or around 110 kilometers per second, and it's only going to speed up as time continues. We're going to continue inching closer and closer until in around 4 billion years, and our Milky Way galaxy and the Andromeda galaxy are going to make contact for the very first time, beginning to combine its stars with ours and allowing for the birth of countless more. The supermassive black holes in both galaxies are going to continue spiraling back and forth until Sagittarius A star and M31 star combine. During their orbital dance, as the black holes get closer and closer with each full orbit, the black holes will emit gravitational waves. These waves will create ripples in the fabric of space and time itself and will be felt across the universe, potentially even doing some serious damage to the solar systems nearby. Then, after billions of years, the black holes will merge into one in a powerful and beautiful event. And for just a moment, the energy released from this event will be so great that it can outshine every star in every galaxy in the observable universe. And then to finish it off, a beautiful bright quasar from all the gas and dust that is heated up will shine brightly at the center of the newly formed Milkdromeda. From Earth, we will be able to witness this entire collision over the course of 4 billion years as Andromeda approaches, contacts, rips through, and merges with our home. As the galaxies collide with each other, we'd be able to witness the reshaping of our galaxy. The spirals, arms, stars, etc. will all be disrupted as we settle into a new structure. Brand new stars will form for the first time as gas from Andromeda combines with the gas in the Milky Way across vast regions. And other stars will be ejected from our galaxy in a phenomenon known as stellar stripping. Over millions of years, Andromeda will appear as a bright light, slowly getting larger and brighter over time. The sky will continue to change as Andromeda stars and our stars mix and mingle, altering the iconic constellations that we're familiar with today. But throughout all of this, will our solar system and our planet be safe? Like, wouldn't we get sucked into the new, more massive black hole, or even collide with another solar system? Well, most likely, 
No. Now, there's this common misconception that black holes are these giant behemoths that suck everything into their cores. However, their gravity works the same as the gravity on this planet, or our sun. Think of it this way. If our sun were replaced with a black hole of the exact same mass, we humans would remain safe and stable in orbit, along with every other planet in the solar system. Our solar system will simply be orbiting the new supermassive black hole at the center of Mildromeda. Also, the stars in these galaxies are many, many light years apart. They are far enough apart to the point where the chances of our solar system colliding with another solar system are next to nothing. So we should be fine, except for the fact that our Earth won't be here to witness it.